Okay. All right, guys, we have our timer going, and could you please introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Mrs. LaValle, and I teach ninth grade and 10th grade academic strategies, which is a special education class um, at the high school. Cool. And yeah, we've had many, many students in common over the years, and you've done a great job of supporting them. So um, I, know, I know I'm grateful for it. And I know that during distance learning, strategies teachers, I feel like, are even more important. It's, it's, it's a big lift. and It, it is. Yeah, it is. You know, there's a lot of different interventions that can you can be done through remote learning um, that were really helpful for a lot of students. And I think moving forward with this type of learning, it's important for our students to know that there are a lot of different supports and they need to be proactive and asking all of us for help because we're all here to support them and help them be successful. And we're all in it together. Yeah, I hear this echoed through many teachers is that yeah. You know, to communicate, communications king, um, especially really in this situation. Yeah, really so, is. so we can't. You know, we're not in the room with you. So, um, you know, we can pick up something online, but we need to know. We need you to express yourself. Um, yeah. What do you like about teaching freshmen? Oh, freshmen! I love that they are so eager and yet also at the same time apprehensive because they don't know what high school's about. And um, I love watching the transformation from first semester to second semester. And then when I see them come back in the fall um, as 10th graders, it's just, it's a lot of changes that are positive and they just grow so much. And I like helping them be part, you know, and being part of that journey for them. Um, you know, there's a lot to figure out. High school is a big step and it's the next step to becoming an adult. And that it sinks in like midway through freshman year all of those things and it just, it starts to click. And so I just, I love helping them on that journey and learning who they are and what they wanna seek out while they're at NHS. Like that, that journey is really fun and um, something I like to support. Yeah, it's astounding how much the kids grow in those years. I mean, it's just astounding. It is, it is. And you know, yeah. the freshmen, you know, they're super, super sweet. You know, they, a lot of kids leave, middle school's tough. Middle school's yeah. hard, high school's totally different. And they realize it really fast. And I enjoy seeing that realization and then them just kind of like coming into their own and learning what they need to help themselves be better students, be, you know, better human beings and reaching out to all of us as a faculty and, and learning new things. And they, they try so many different things that they never, ever thought they would try before. And that's, it's a really fun thing to watch. And um, yeah, I just, I've, I've always liked freshmen because of that. Yeah, me too. A lot of energy. Oh, and yeah. I mean, you're really right about that. Like, you guys survived middle school, so, <laughs> you know, you've done, you've done a lot of the work you need to do already, just getting out, and it's just a hard age. It um, really is. And I do think the high school, it's just a really different atmosphere. Um, yeah. what, were you, what were you like as an incoming freshman? How would you describe yourself? Oh, wow. Well, I think, like, that's a tough one. I had moved across country, mm. so um, I had... And then I switched schools twice mm -hmm. in middle school, like, no, three times in middle school. So hmm. I had no expectations. I, I didn't really know what was in store. And I was going to a completely different school in a different state, 3,000 miles away from where hmm. I was used to growing up. So I feel like my high school experience was, as a freshman, totally different than a lot of people because it was so transient. But, um, you know, I always struggled with math always. And mm -hmm. freshman year was no different. I mean, the school, the systems were completely different out West versus on the East coast. So it was a lot of work. It was stressful and it was hard. Um, and it took, it took me a little while to find a niche. And I think, you know, same thing. I had that experience You know, midway, um, 10th grade. I finally had some things figured out of what I wanted to focus on in high school, what classes I wanted to take. Um, and I think, that was useful. I think if I hadn't had the experience of being a freshman and that at the high school I went to, they paired us with seniors as like bigger siblings. And so that guidance was really, really key. And it's similar to some of the programs that NHS has done too. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, that mentoring relationship, um, I see a lot with, with sports and clubs at our school and, you know, it was similar for me. So I got into art you know, because I enjoyed it also because it was 
you know, pushed out of a comfort zone as a freshman to, to try something new. And I think that's really an important thing for everyone to learn. But yeah, I, I liked um, my school a lot. Um, but freshman year, I mean, it, it took a little while. Like I don't, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a great student, I always was, but that year probably was one of the toughest years. Yep. Um, and I didn't get the grades I wanted to. But the thing was, is I figured out the systems and who to go to for help. And that's, that's why I love my job is because you need, you need people in your corner. You need people to help you figure that out. And um, I was fortunate to have that experience. And I, I like giving that experience to others too now. That's great. Yeah, well, I, I just think it's a great, great piece of advice, too, and it follows up on what you were saying before. Well, guys, if you are lucky enough to have Miss LaValle uh, in the fall, we'll probably be working all together, because I'm assuming we have some students in common. Um, yeah. And then goodbye for now. All right. <laughs> Thanks. All right.